What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So you guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my entire perfume collection. I am super excited about this video because I have been growing my perfume collection so much recently and I have a lot of really affordable perfume options for you guys, which I think is really good because a lot of perfume collections you watch are like super high-end perfumes and don't get me wrong, I do have a few high-end ones but I have a lot of affordable options for you guys so I think that this is gonna be really good for all my baddies on a budget out there because you know not all of us can be dropping over a hundred dollars on one bottle of perfume and if you can good for you sis go you but if you can't that's okay we got other options here so I'm going to share those with you guys today so without further ado let's just get right on into the video so I can start showing you guys my collection okay so of course I have to start my perfume collection off by talking about one of my favorite perfume perfume companies ever. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been working with Dossier for quite some time now and I absolutely love Dossier and although they sponsor my videos, my opinions are all 100% honest when it comes to their brand. So with Dossier, pretty much you get designer fragrance dupes for literally like a fraction of the price which is amazing. So I will show you guys two of the newest ones that I have from Dossier that I have not shown on my channel yet. Okay, so the two that I'm going to start off by showing you guys today is Amber Saffron and Floriental Vanilla. So if you haven't seen Dossier packaging yet, this is pretty much what they look like and it does have the scent notes on the package. However, each perfume comes with an individual note card that will tell you what the perfume is a dupe of. So pretty much Floriental Vanilla is inspired by YSL's Black Opium. If you know me, you know that I love YSL's Black Opium and I actually have it here in my collection so I'm going to get to compare the two side by side and see if they smell identical. So the top notes for Floriental Vanilla are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, Licorice. Middle notes are Jasmine and Orange Blossom. And then the base notes are Cedarwood, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Coffee. I always smell that Vanilla and Coffee note a lot in this scent. I love Black Opium so, so much. We are going to spray this in the cap and I'm going to smell it side by side with the actual Black Opium. I already know it smells identical. So I know there, I have different ones of Black Opium. I think this might be the neon one but for the most part they all smell pretty much the same so i have an intense one and a neon one and then a regular one but one of them is back at home in new jersey where my family lives so literally identical you guys like i it's crazy how much they smell similar so this is definitely a perfect dupe right here so if you don't want to spend the extra buck on the actual black opium from ysl i definitely recommend getting the dossier one and then we have ambry saffron i have been wearing this one so so much lately it pairs beautifully with amber romance from victoria's secret so the top notes on this are saffron and orange blossom the middle notes are jasmine plum and cedarwood and then the base notes are oak moss fir blossom and amber of course it has that super strong amber note and this is inspired by mason francis the baccarat rouge i think i said that right this literally you guys it has the most beautiful amber note if you don't like amber you will not like this it literally smells like straight up amber oh it's just so beautiful and honestly this is something that i feel like can be worn at any time of the year it is a very like warm scent however i think that it would be great for summer or winter whatever you guys want to wear it for and it matches beautifully with amber romance so i love both of these i did want to make it known real quick that we with dossier they do have free returns risk-free so pretty much if you get a perfume and you don't like how it smells you can just send it back or you can exchange it for a different one it's as easy as that so I know it is hard to blind buy online but you do have that option to return it for free so it's really an amazing option and I highly recommend trying out dossier's website if you're someone who wants to try out some high-end perfumes but doesn't have the budget for that at this time these are so worth it and they are super long-lasting thank you dossier for sending me these videos and for sponsoring this portion of the video now let's get back into the collection. So since I just showed you guys two of my Dossier perfumes, I'll quickly just show you guys the other ones. I have talked about some of these in videos before and then two of them I will be talking about in another upcoming video in the coming months. So I'm just going to quickly go through them with you guys. So I actually talked about these in a recent video, but I have Dossier's Floral Lavender and Dossier's Floral Pink Pepper. Floral Lavender is inspired by YSL's Libre and Floral Pink Pepper is inspired by Dior's Miss Dior. I love these both so much. So next we have Gourmand White 
Bright Flowers, which is definitely probably my favorite one from Dossier. This is inspired by Victor and Ralph's Flower Balm, and I am obsessed with this. It is just the prettiest, like, um, gourmand and floral notes together. It's just so, so beautiful. I think that this goes really, really well with Bare Vanilla La Creme from Victoria's Secret. And then we just have Floriental Brown Sugar, which is inspired by YSL's Mon Paris, and I love this one, too. I have a thing for YSL scents, I guess, because YSL just makes some amazing perfumes. Next, we have Fruity Magnolia, and I have not shown this one on my channel yet, but I'll just quickly tell you guys. It is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal. I love this so much. And then we just have Fruity Jasmine, which is inspired by Dior's J Adore Eau de Perfume. I don't know if I said that right, J Adore. But yeah, those are all of my Dossier fragrances. So next, we're going to move on to Mix Bar. Mix Bar is actually a perfume brand that you can pick up at Target. It is sold out a lot of the time, but you can try to purchase it online. They have amazing scents for $20 each perfume. They also sell body sprays, which are a little bit cheaper, but I love the perfumes. They are pretty long lasting for such inexpensive perfume. So I'll show you guys the ones that I have. So first I have the Tangerine Squeeze one, and this is just the most beautiful citrus scent. I love this so, so much. It just makes you feel so clean and fresh, and it's so summery. Next we have my absolute favorite. This is Vanilla Bourbon. This is the most gorgeous and mature vanilla scent ever, you guys. It is so sweet, but it's so mature, and I am obsessed with this. I literally can wear the heck out of this and never get sick of it, so if it is not sold out at your Target, I highly recommend picking this up. I did order this one online, I believe, because it was sold out. Next up, we have Blackberry Tonic, and I wasn't sure if I would like this one, but I actually love it so, so much. It smells beautiful. It is sweet, but it still smells very mature, so it definitely has that Blackberry scent, but it smells super, super elegant and classy. I'm obsessed with this. And then lastly, we have Coconut Palm, and coconut has been growing on me a lot lately, but I do have to say that this is such a pretty coconut scent. It's not super fruity. It has a very coconut oil kind of scent, which if you watch my channel, you know that I tend to lean more towards coconut scents that smell more like a coconut oil than a fruity coconut. So I really like this. Those are the perfumes I have. I do have the Body Spray and Wood Elixir. It is very strong. I have not been able to get my hands on Cloud Musk yet, but I heard that one is amazing, so hopefully I can get my hands on that soon. So really quickly, another Target perfume. I have the Sully Notes Grenade one. This is a pomegranate scented perfume and oh my goodness you guys pomegranate scent is bomb this smells so sweet and fruity it is gorgeous like oh my god it is so so beautiful if you like very fruity scents you will like this this is super sweet and fruity but it makes you smell so like juicy and i just oh my god it's gorgeous i love this so much i highly recommend going and smelling this i do want to pick up some more soli notes perfumes i think these ones are about two dollars more than the mix bar ones go to your local target and pick these up if they're not sold out i also have a soli notes body mist and that's also bomb okay so going along with the inexpensive perfumes if you have a CVS or a Walgreens near you, which I'm pretty sure everyone does, CVS actually sells designer dupes that are called Perfect Sense, and Walgreens sells ones that are called In Style. So I got two from CVS. First, I got the one that is inspired by Burberry's Brit, and I really wanted to try Burberry's Brit because I'm pretty sure Natalie talked about it on her channel, and I picked up the dupe because I didn't want to buy the actual one. And mind you guys, these dupes are listed at $11.99 at the stores. I believe around there, it might be the same at CVS some Walgreens might be like a dollar off but they're usually always on sale I'm pretty sure I got this one for like eight dollars and those ones for eight dollars so but Burberry Brits is amazing I would definitely pick up the actual one one day this is super strong and these fragrances tend to last very long but I do have to say that they last a lot longer on your clothes than on your body at least for me but I still think for designer dupes that are from literally a drugstore for under ten dollars like they last pretty long also from the CVS line it makes perfect sense I have the inspired by Calvin Klein's Euphoria one and I did smell this scent before Calvin Klein's Euphoria but I wasn't crazy about it but I decided to pick this up and it is super super strong like it hits you in the face it is very musky super mature and it is a lot, so if you don't like super strong scents, you might not like this, but I think that this smells super, super beautiful and expensive, so I really like it. Okay, and so I have four of the InStyle ones from Walgreens. The first one that I have is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I actually have the Bombshell Intense from Victoria's Secret, the actual one, and I smelled them side by side, and they smell almost identical. That one's a little bit stronger because it is the Intense one, but this just smells just like Bombshell, and it lasts 
pretty long but not super super long because I feel like Victoria's Secret bombshell itself doesn't last as long as like a super designer a high-end one anyways so this definitely doesn't last too too long but it does what it's got to do next we got the in style one inspired by Chanel number no. five I just picked this up yesterday and this just is super strong it is kind of a more mature scent I'd say for someone a lot older than I am but I think that this could grow on me and I think that because it is a dupe and it is a very strong scent it will probably wear off a little on me where it won't smell as intense but it'll still smell super good so I'm excited for this and then we have the in style inspired by theory mugglers angel this was my favorite perfume like years ago I went through two bottles of it in a year so I decided to pick up the dupe and you guys it smells identical to angel and this is so strong I literally sprayed it on myself at my friend's birthday party on it my my fuzzy jacket and like days later I picked up the jacket and it like smelled so strong but like I said it does last a lot longer on clothes than on your skin but I still think that is amazing so I'm obsessed with this this is probably my favorite one I got from InStyle and then lastly I got the inspired by Marc Jacobs Daisy this one is an Eau de, Eau de Toilette it's not a perfume but it still smells really good it just doesn't last very long but Daisy by Marc Jacobs smells amazing I'm definitely gonna pick up the actual Daisy one in the near future because this mixed with Aqua Kiss from Victoria's Secret is a match made in freaking heaven you guys like I am obsessed I'm literally wearing this today this is actually my scent of the day with Aqua Kiss so I'm gonna spray a little bit more on me because it's been a while okay all right let's get into more of my high-end ones so this is actually empty, but I still do have my old bottle of Angel by Theory Muggler. Look how cute this packaging is. It still kind of smells like it. I'm obsessed. I have to pick up a new one soon, but the dupe is so good. So I don't feel like I need one in like a super rush. So of course, here is Black Opium. I do have another bottle of this back at home in New Jersey because my aunt is nice enough to get me them from her job. She works at Macy's. So she picked me up a few. So I have one back at home. I believe this one is the neon one. And then the one at home is the intense one, but they all still Still smells fairly similar but I love black opium this has probably been like my signature scent for a while I am trying to like veer off of it a little just to change it up a bit but I always end up back at her she smells amazing this is more to me a little bit of like a wintry scent however I would still wear this in the summer and I love it so much it just I feel like when I'm wearing like all black this is the way to go like this just matches the all black attire so well and I also just have a mini one of it this is like a travel size so she got me this one as well I love it next up we have Valentino born in Rome. This is a new one to me. I just got her in December and I also have another one back at home in New Jersey again thanks to my aunt. So Born in Roma is just the most gorgeous, sweet, girly scent ever you guys. I am obsessed with this. I did break the cap which I'm so sad about but it still kind of works but the packaging is literally to die for and I'm obsessed. I could wear like this scent so much. It matches so well with like so many different scents from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. It just goes well with super sweet and like pretty florally but fruity scents kind of and she is gorgeous um i don't have the scent notes on hand again i'm telling you guys the name of all of these products so you of course can go and look it up and find the scent notes yourself it would have taken me forever to pull up all of the scent notes for these and this video would have been way too long the only ones that i did share was dossier because those were actually on the paper but of course you guys can totally look it up i don't want to keep you guys here forever but i love valentino born in roma and then I, of course i have the mini one look how cute she is she is so cute so next up i have ariana grande's rem perfume this is like the smaller one i think it's the one fluid ounce it is just so cute it comes in like this little thing and this reminds me a lot of like a lavender scent it does have a lavender note in it um so it just gives me like a lot of like strong lavender scent but it is also kind of like mellowed out by the other scents in it so it's not a super strong like aromatherapy essential oil lavender scent so it is pretty calm it smells beautiful i definitely want to pick up more on ariana grande ones I have the cloud body spray but I don't feel like I like it enough to get the actual perfume but I do want to try some of her other fragrances because this one is beautiful and it's super long lasting next I have Victoria's Secrets bombshell intense as I told you guys I have this one I love bombshell I think it is just the most sexy and like sweet scent ever it smells so so good and I could literally never get sick of bombshell like I love this so much next up is another one from my aunt this is the Giorgio Armani my way and you guys this oh my god it is so gorgeous it is the most perfect like spring and summertime scent it definitely has like 
some sort of citrusy note in there but it also smells super mature so it's not a super sweet scent it has a very like musky note to it as well but you can also smell like the citrus fruitiness to it we're almost done you guys next up i have juicy couture's viva la juicy i'm pretty much out of this it's been like this for a while i love viva la juicy i know it is controversial some people don't like it but i think it's just so pretty it definitely has a powdery smell to it so if you don't like that you probably won't like this but i grew up on this scent viva la juicy so i literally love it so much i just oh my god like i just miss it i want more but i i just can't get myself to spend the money on it it is a very strong scent and i was wearing this when i was in like freaking middle school and it's so strong but it just smells so beautiful i love it so much next i have the adole di armani i don't really know what this is my grandfather gave it to me like a few years ago and it's definitely a very like expensive older perfume i don't really wear it i kind of just leave it for decoration but i should start wearing it more it is old though but it smells super strong it smells like a very like grown adult rich woman successful vibes i need to wear it more but like i just feel like i don't know it's it just smells so like expensive i don't feel like it matches any of my outfits but maybe i need to pull her out more and last but not least we have my new baby i got coco mademoiselle recently from nordstrom oh my god she's freaking beautiful look at her i am obsessed with this like oh my god oh i can smell it all day like it's just so beautiful and I think like it just smells first of all it smells so elegant so classy it is super long lasting and strong it smells sweet but musky and mature at the same time and I am literally obsessed I literally would wear this every day if I could but it was expensive and I paid for it with my own money so I'm not gonna do that but the packaging is just so gorgeous I'm obsessed I want more Chanel perfumes literally I'm so happy that I picked this one rather than any of the other ones because oh my god my friend Jen actually had it and we were at our friend's birthday party and I literally just kept like saying Jen you smell amazing you smell amazing you smell amazing she told me what she was wearing I'm like I need to save up for that I had two Nordstrom gift cards I went and picked it up and I'm so happy I don't regret it at all but that is all of my perfumes you guys it was like a good amount but again like majority of the ones that i have are inexpensive options for you guys so i hope that this was helpful for any of you who want some more perfumes but need some more inexpensive options i really hope that you guys did enjoy watching this video let me know down below in the comments what your favorite perfumes are and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i will see you all in my next video bye guys